What's up? Clean up all that bird shit. I think they left. Uh, too much going on. Oh. What's happening? Sam? Dark Fonzie t-shirt. Someone sent me a blue Lacoste. Julie's dates. What's up? What's up, Shmooly? What's up? Sammy. Sammy. My place is, not, is only a mess because I have a lot of stuff out for the cats. Like, this isn't standard mess. This is, this is a cat playground. This is a cat festival. Oh, hello there. How are you? Crinkle ball. Smells a little weird in here. What have you been doing? Smells a little weird in here. What have you been doing? I know, right? You ready to try the game? Here we go. Okay, bring it back. Bring it back. Sammy. Come on, bring it back. Come on, Sammy. Hey, good one. Good job, bud. Come on, bring it back. Holy shit. Oh, you dropped it. Sam, go back and get it. Too complicated? Go back and get it. Hi, Buster. Hi, buddy. Hey, pal. What's going on? Buster. 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 Booster. Come here. Come here, come on. Come here, buddy. Are you like the old man? Are you like the old man? Come here, buddy. What's up, pal? What's up, pal? Yes. Flop it over. How are you, buddy? Huh? What? What? You all right? You all right, bud? Booster, Booster, what's up, pal? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, Booster? What's up, pal? That was nice. You just touched him on the head. Very nice. What are you doing, man? Sam?
You want to try this again? Whoa. If I throw this, you're going to hurt yourself flying off of this box? Here. Bring it back. Come on. Come on, buddy. All the way back. Let's do it. Come on, buddy. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Oh. What happened? Uh. All right. What time is it? What's up? Uh, too close? What's happening? Um, use whatever options you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself or others. I, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Got those, uh, those are my old speakers. I got... Oh, shit. What are you doing now? Look at these fucking pieces of sturge. Go out there to smoke it. Where's the, uh... Um... I'll tell you, man, I'm ready to do the long sets. I'm telling you that right now. Comedy, the comedy store has been great. It's been good to see everybody. And I've been sort of a dick. Watch it. But not a dick in a bad way. In a fun way. Let's see if this fucking grill... This, sometimes this thing gets too, too hot. Oh no, it's good. Let's put on super smoke. Let's uh probe one of these motherfuckers. Let's probe a fat one. that for a few hours. What kind of wood? Uh, hickory. I don't know. I think the hickory is the best. Most of the time with these, I think with these, pe ow, with these pellet grill situations, you can't, uh, no, no spices. Uh, you can't, not with the fish. I'll put a little, uh, they, they're, it's been dry. It's been brined with, um, Dry brine with salt, sugar, and uh, garlic powder. And uh, no, no oil or spices. Not for this. Dry brine, salt, sugar, garlic powder for a few hours. And then you wash all that shit off. And then you uh, dry it. And then you let it sit overnight. And it develops a, uh, a layer of, uh, I forget what it's called. But that's what the smoke flavor sticks to um and then after it's done i'll baste it a couple of times with honey in an hour or so and then um and some paprika on it i'm gonna vacuum pack it vacuum pack fuck it man i'm just doing what i do i don't give a fuck anymore not too much not too much hi sam how much life do we have left, really? Am I right, Sammy?
Um, so I got some new speakers that are just fucking insane. Uh, it's it's they it's a little much, but uh, I don't give a shit. I'm here by myself. Life is short. This is the worst life. Oh, I should open this window. I fucking got him. Also, got the band together. Yeah, this is real speaker porn. I'm not even going to talk about it. High-end speaker porn. Um, but let's play something. First rehearsal of the band was uh, great. Those guys, they hadn't, uh, they hadn't played in a bit. And I certainly have never really played with people. But they didn't make me feel like I couldn't do it. Or that I needed work or whatever. Fucking some insecure or some musicians. Look, man, maybe I do need practice, but I don't, I don't care, man. I just want to play. Uh, maybe I need practice playing with other people. That's what we're doing. So we put together a set list of about, uh, I don't know, it's going to be six to ten songs. I, have no, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I want to do it, so I'm doing it. So the first rehearsal went great. I think it's just going to be a trio. I didn't know if I could handle that, but it seems to be going okay. And we'll just see what happens. We had a fucking blast. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It just opened it up. It was fucking awesome. So... Yeah, also, uh, no tolerance, zero tolerance on stage anymore, which is weird. Yeah, I've, I've got to find, uh, I'm going to have to find this, the, you know, the, I don't know. I, I can't be too hard on myself, you know. Last night I said to the audience, I said, uh, if you didn't like my tone tonight, it's not who I am. This is a, a character I'm working on. Uh, that character is called me half the time. I'll show you the speakers. One second. Let's pick a record. We got to pick a record. Um, you know how it goes. We got to find one that's not going to get snagged. What are we going to play, Sam? You got to play a record that's not going to get snagged. That's enjoyable. And that will not be Pearl Jam. Definitely not that. Yeah, we could do some jazz, but then I would have to go upstairs. Oh, you remember that record? This is basically a, a, a Rod Stewart record. It's kind of bizarre. This one, yeah. No, it's not a faces record. We can't do any stones. We can't do any bigs. We probably could do beef heart, maybe. 
These guys are pretty great, though. I believe they're Australian. Uh, in terms of the speakers... Um, let's see. I'm not going to talk about them. But if you know, you know. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, there's crap on this record. What is that? You know, sometimes when you buy used records, it looks like, you know, people have eaten off it. Oh, that's just a vinyl defect. Wild. Speakers are killer. Speakers are fucking nuts. I'm fucking nuts for buying them, but god damn it. They're the best. I don't want to go into it. But I did it. I have to accept it. They sound so fucking good. All I'm going to say is they're, they're, I think they're made by Mormons. That's all I think. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. If no one can identify them, so be it. I get a little, I'm a little sensitive. I'm a little, you know, I'm a little like, you know, weird about, you know, when I spend money on things that I like, that cost a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, that's a little embarrassing. You know, people are trying to get by and you're buying speakers. I know, but like, I'm trying to get by too, in a way. somebody's business but I'm sitting here sharing it with y'all I'm sharing it with y'all come on let's play something something that won't get pulled
You know, Patrick's going on the road. Um, this might get us in trouble. I don't know what he's on. Maybe not. Stickles is going on the road, and I believe they're playing the entire monitor. Um, which you should go see. Let's play a little of that for you now. Is that it? What time is it? Boom. Yes. That's a guy who used to teach his high school. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Crafty. Yes, they are.
Oof. Good shit. Did someone say Patrick was on Bill Maher? Wow. It's always nice when those sort of weird, aggravated boomers, late stage boomers, when they sense their relevance is slipping, that they start pulling in the young guys. Yeah, let's put the kid on. Oh, Quentin was on Bill Maher. I was going to say, if Patrick was on Bill Maher, that would be fucking amazing and weird. I wish Stickles was on Bill Maher. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Quentin, of course, was on there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me. Yeah, Patrick is no youngster, but he's not, he's not old. Um, Quentin will be on Monday. And we had fun. Yeah, well, this this system now is like set. Ages, dot, dot, dot. Hey man, you know what's up. I know, man. Hey, I feel young, man. I don't feel my age. Uh, you know, 90 is the new 12. You know, whatever, man. You know, old is old. Either you fucking let shit go or you hold on to it. Either you become a fucking zen-like motherfucker who's just trying to find a little joy in the last quarter or you become an an aggravated fuck who wants to ruin the future for everybody. I mean, there's some gray area, right? There's a little gray area, right? Of course. But I think that's it. How you gonna go, man? Coming in on 60, where you at? Are you gifted with the ability to not remember things quite well enough because you've annihilated your brain over the years with this or that? And now you're trying to adjust to, uh, to the uh, intake of information, which is shattering your sense of kind of linear time, making a mess of your fucking memories and overtaxing your brain with the amount of narratives you dump in there on a day-to-day basis. That's all right, as long as it calms you down, I guess. Or, yeah, hanging on to something that didn't work out. Are you hanging on to something that didn't work out? Did it not quite work out? Did you really give it a fucking all you had? Did you give it all you had and it didn't work out? Well, that sucks, but at least you gave it all you had, but that's not enough to get you by, right? The inversion of entitlement is fucking bitterness. And given that people in this generation, in this world, are so fucking self-centered, so fucking entitled, so self-branded, so self-actualized, if things don't work out, they just fucking short-circuit and somebody's going to pay, but it's not going to be them taking responsibility for their fucking failures or disappointments. Somebody's got to pay. My life didn't fucking work out. Fuck people. Yeah, that's a fucking time bomb. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. I do know that either you're going to get softer and more open or you're going to get harder and more closed. And that'll make you the prime demographic for all the garbage propaganda that's causing the world to burn. If you're honest and authentic, it works out. Ah, maybe if you have acceptance. If you're honest and authentic, that doesn't preclude you from being a nasty, bitter fuck. If you have self-acceptance, fine. Look, man, I'm on the tightrope all the time. Mind your mind is right. You know, like I'm fucking fluctuating between old me and, and whatever the fuck I'm supposed to be But, you know, something about life in the last year or two 
has really kind of fucking made me a bit cynical, but not in a bad way, just cynical in the way like, wow, this is a fucking dumb short ride. And uh, if you're putting stuff off or you're not taking yourself to task, then um, you're going to come up empty at the end. It's not even going to fucking matter because no one gives a fuck afterwards. It all just goes away and you fade quickly into the past. Depending on what kind of impact you made, a few people be like, hey, remember, we got to do everything we got to do to remember. I am giving music a go. What's up? I'm talking to a few hundred people Hello? from my porch. Trainer ladies here. Thanks for doing this today. I went to Joshua Tree yesterday. My friend Kit had not ever seen Joshua Tree. So I took her out there. Yeah, all the greats are forgotten. The only guy, people freak out when the greats die even if they haven't paid attention to them in decades because it implies something about their own mortality. It's not like, oh my God, he was so relevant up until the last breath he took. Nah, I haven't bought a record of his in 40 years, but he died? Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, okay. You take care. Look at my brown teeth. Blue face.